Hi, my name is Este from Kimetrix. Welcome to today's episode of Two Minute Tuesdays. In today's episode, we will explore one of Workday Adaptive's recent releases introduced in August 2023, the multi-select setting. This feature was initially only available in Office Connect and has now been extended to web reports and dashboards. Let's take a closer look at this new feature, starting with how to enable and utilize it in web reports. This report has levels set up as a parameter, allowing for easy toggling between different departments or entities. Prior to the release of the multi-select feature, it was only possible to select one level or its parent. Since the introduction of the multi-select feature, we can actually select and view multiple departments in aggregation. To enable this feature, we will enter edit mode and go into the parameter properties. In here, we see the drop-down list for the specific parameter as displayed when running the report. Activating the multi-select feature is as simple as checking the allow multi-select tick box on the left-hand side of the screen. After clicking apply and saving and running the report, we observe that the level parameter now allows for selecting of multiple departments. For instance, if we want to view an aggregated P&L for both the US and UK operations of company A, we can now easily do so by just selecting those two levels. This feature also applies for dimensions and attribute values and holds the same logic and steps. The multi-select feature is now also available in dashboards. Context filters can be added and managed by going into edit mode, clicking onto the dashboard's title, and then going into data settings. In here, more dimensions and or attributes can be added into the dashboard acting as a filter. The multi-select feature is automatically enabled and works as so. The multi-select feature gives us the ability to slice and dice data in a more specific and tailored way, giving us greater ownership and control over our reports and dashboards. Mm -hmm.